Hi and welcome to another video. I'm Alessio from agrtech.com.au and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to take ownership of files inside of Windows. Now if you're a Windows Power user, one of the things that you'll likely end up needing to do at some point is to modify system files. This could be your host file or a number of other different files that you may need to access. When you go to do so however, you'll often get a message like so that says that you don't have permission to access the file or folder. And this can also be if, uh, the case if you have a certain folder that's had the permissions on it changed and you need to get into it. Um, for example, if you have multiple user accounts on one computer and you need to access the other user account from one account, you may get this message. So one of the ways to get around this is to take ownership of the file or folder in question. Now this process would normally involve using the command line and essentially changes the permission of the file to allow your user account to have access to it. Now uh, that can work fine if you've only got one or two files or folders, however if you have entire directories with lots of different files that you need to quickly change all the permissions then that can definitely be quite annoying. So this video will show you how you can add a simple option in your right click menu which will allow you to instantly take ownership of the files that you have access to. So for this demonstration I've just got a file on the desktop here called super secret stuff and if I try to open it here I'll get this message to say that I currently don't have permission to access the file uh, folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and press continue. Now I've deliberately changed the permissions of this file to have all deny access so I can't actually access the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit close there. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and download the takeownership.zip file. So if you just go over to the AGR Tech blog and go to this URL, our link for this will be in the description. Just go to this page and scroll down and just go to this takeownership.zip file here and just click on that to download it and go ahead and choose save or open regardless of whichever one you want to choose and once you've done that go ahead and open it up in your favorite archiving tool um, if you're using Windows 10 um, or any version of Windows really you'll be able to open it directly inside of the built-in archive manager uh, but if you have something like 7-zip or something like that installed you can open it in there as well and then just go ahead and open it so I've got the file here and you'll see two files so you'll have install and remove Go ahead and drag these to the desktop or any other location. I'm just going to put them on the desktop for now. And we just want the install. So we want to double click on the installation. Now you will need to have um, an administrator account for this to work. Um, so to do that, just make sure that you go into your control panel and uh, go to your settings and make sure that your user account has administrative privileges. So you can see here that my user account Alessio is the administrator. So you just need that for it to work. So once you've done that, go ahead and run it. And you may get a warning here, just press yes. And then once you get this, you'll have a message. Um, are you sure you want to add it to the registry? Go ahead and click yes again. And once you see this message here to say that the keys and values have been successfully added, you can go ahead and press OK. So now when we right click on the folder, you should see we have a new option that says take ownership. So go ahead and click on that and then press yes to allow the command line to access and once you've done that we should now be able to open the file so you can see here the file permissions have changed and now I have full permission to access this folder so I'm just going to go ahead and open this file and you can see that I can access it so I'm just going to go ahead and choose the properties as well and just have a look at the security options and you can see that I have full control permissions over that file so this will apply to anything that's inside the folder. So if this folder had say 50 text documents and we'd done it to this folder, we would then have access to everything in there. And at any point, if you do want to remove the uh, take ownership um, shortcut, you can just run the remove uh, file here. Go ahead, press run, hit yes again. And then when you get that prompt, just choose yes. And now if I right click on this file, you can see that the take ownership uh, shortcut is gone. So that was a quick video to show you how you can take ownership of files inside of Windows. I hope you guys found it useful. Uh, there will be more videos coming up soon. Uh, be sure to also leave a comment down below for any suggestions you might have for some future videos. And also don't forget to check out agrtech.com.au uh, for more tips like this. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel for more updates uh, whenever we make some new videos. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.